Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, how to convert a binary number into decimal number. We will study a step by step procedure to convert a binary number to decimal number that is known as binary to decimal conversion. It is very simple and very easy if we go step by step and if we understand all the steps that how to convert our binary number into decimal number. So before we start actual conversion, let us see how our decimal and binary number system is. We compare our decimal number and binary number system. So the things become very clear in your mind. So in case of a decimal number, we know that uh, suppose we take a single digit. Suppose we take a single digit, then we know that we have numbers like 0 and if we start from 0 then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So up to 9 we have single digit number. So total single digit numbers are 10 and that is why it is called a decimal number, decimal system, right? So we, if we want to count up to 9 then we can use a single digit. So we start counting from 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So up to 9 we can count. But uh, have you ever think that uh, suppose if we want to count beyond a 9 then what to do? So then we compulsory have to go for 2 digit. Right? So if we want to count beyond a 9 then we have to go for 2 digit. Now we start with 1 0, right? We have started with 0, but uh, beyond a value of 9, we use 2 digit, and in case of 2 digit, we start with 1 0. You note this point because in binary, we'll be going to do the same when we use the 2 digit number, right? So 1 0, we will be using 1 0 in binary also. So we start with 10 and then in two digit we can go counting up to 99. But again the same question if we want to go beyond a 99 then what we can do? We can count easily up to 99 with two digits right? But then suppose we want to count beyond a 99 then we have a three digit system. We can have to go for three, a three digit system. So again we start with 100. Right? So when we go for three digit, we use a 100. So same thing we will be doing in binary also. So you again not this point. Then we when we use three digit, we use a 100. So 100 and then up to 999, 999, we can do counting up to 999 with 3 digit. And same way we go on increasing the number of digit as the amount increase. So if we want to count beyond 999, then we will have to go for 1000, zero, zero, zero. then we have to go for 4 digit. So this decimal system is very uh, well known to you because from the first second standard you are uh, learning this system and uh, it is well understood, right? So now we compare with the binary number. In binary number what exactly we are doing? In binary number when we go for a single bit, in binary number we call it bit. So when we go for a single bit, in case of binary, we have only 0 and 1. We have only 2 bit or 2 digit. It is known as either 0 or 1. So in system, if you want to make any number, any damn number, you have to use only 2 different digit. Either it is 0 or it is 1. 
and that is why it is known as a binary number so in case of binary number with single bit we are able to count 0 and 1 but then what if we want to count beyond a 1 then what exactly we, uh, we can do then same way we have to go for 2 bit so in 2 bit see here we have again one more thing you should know that uh, if we are going for 2 bit then it is a 2 binary system is 2 and 2 raised to power of 2 so it becomes 4 right so 4 different possibilities so in uh, 2 bit we have 4 different possibilities so 0 0 and 0 1 that can be counted with single bit also 0 0 is 0 and 0 1 that is 1 but then to count beyond a 1 we have to use 1 0 see same point I discussed when we were discussing decimal number system so 1 0 so it is a 2 and then 1 1 1 1 in binary number it is equivalent to 3 so as I said we have four different possibilities so with two bit we are able to count up to 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 0 0 is decimal equivalent it is equal to 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 that is 3 so with two bit we are able to count up to 3 or 1 1 but uh, what exactly if we want to count beyond a 1 1 or beyond a 3 then we will have to go for 3 bit again when we use 3 bit 2 raised to power 3 see remember this 2 raised to power 3 because we are using 3 bit so we have different possibilities we have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so we have different 8 possibilities so let us start so 0 0 0 it is 0 0 0 1 again it is decimal equivalent of 0 0 1 is 1 so these two values we are able to count with single bit then we have 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 say so now here the change first four point that is 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 that is possible with two bits now it is 1 0 0 so you note the difference when we go counting beyond 1 1 then we have to use 1 0 0 it was similar in decimal system also so 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so these are different uh, 8 possibilities and if we start from 0 then 1 1 1 that is exactly equivalent decimal equivalent to 8 so with in binary number system with 3 bits we are able to calculate up to 7 so total 0 to 7 total 8 possibilities but 1 1 1 that is decimal equivalent to 7 so this way we can compare our decimal number system with binary number system and some of the similarities in decimal as well as in binary number system so now let us proceed further and we understand radix or it is known as a base in case of decimal number system the base or radix is 10 so whatever value is as per the position of the number we take base 10 we'll see further in a letter and in binary number the radix or base is known as 2 same way when we will study our uh, different uh, number system like hexa or octal in octal we take uh, radix 8 and in hexa decimal number 
we take a radix 16 right so this way radix are very important so now weighted position in case of decimal number system we know that uh, position is very important if we use any number between 0 to 9 but its value actual value depends on the position at which position it is uh, located so decimal number position is very important so it is known as a weighted position suppose we start always from the right side so right side the extreme right is known as zeroth position and uh, its value that is 10 raised to 0 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1 any power any uh, uh, power 0 to any value that is always 1 then first position then we have to take 10 raised to 1 see this is very well known to you because in first or second standard you have studied this point so now we have second position and second position we have 10 raised to 2 and in third position we have 10 raised to 3 and so on for fourth position fifth position you can easily understand this point and uh, we can use this uh, weighted position to calculate exact value of any number right so same system same system we are using in binary number right in binary number also we have a weighted position right but as i said in case of binary number radix or base is 2 so instead of 10 will be using 2 as a base and all other calculations are exactly similar so when we call zero position then it is 2 raised to 0 right same only radix has changed otherwise as per the position value remain same so first position then we have 2 raised to 1 then second position then we have value 2 raised to 2 and then we have third position then we have value that is 2 raised to 3 so this way in decimal number system also based on the position the value change as per the position same way it is in binary number also right so 2 raised to 0 that is zero position and as position goes on increase from the right side to left side right it is always from the right side to left side and uh, power of the 2 increase base radix uh, that is 2 it remains constant so before we start uh, actual binary conversion let us uh, one understand one decimal number system how it works and exactly in similar way will be using in binary number also we start with the right rightmost position so as per the position it is zeroth position so we take uh, 10 raised to 0 then first position it is 10 raised to 1 we have two digit digit only so either it is zero position and one position now we will have to do multiplication with the actual value so actual value is 9 and it if we multiplied with its position then it becomes 10 raised to 0 so 9 multiplied by 10 raised to 0 in same way 9 multiplied by 10 raised to 1 so now we have to add both the value so 9 multiplied by 10 raised to 0 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1 so it is 9 multiplied by 1 and 9 multiplied by 10 10 raised to 1 that is 10 again we have to do addition so 9 multiplied by 1 that is 9 and 9 multiplied by 10 that is 90 again if we do the addition so it is 90 plus 9 so it is 99 so this way we can calculate any values 
in decimal number system and uh, same system will apply in binary number also so you can do practice on your own with uh, any of the decimal number and then you can go counting like this but if you have understand the decimal number position system very well then it is very easy for you to go for binary number system before we go to binary number system this values you should remember so every now and then you should not go for calculating 2 raised to 0 that is 1 2 raised to 1 that is 2 2 raised to power 2 that is 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 2 raised to 3 that is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 2 raised to power 5 that is 32 2 raised to power 6 that is 64 and 2 raised to power 7 that is 128 2 raised to power 8 that is 256 I mean up to 2 raised to power 8 if you have uh, remembered then the calculation becomes very easy and uh, very fast because every now and then you need not to go for calculating what exactly 2 raised to 3 is or 2 raised to 4 is so now I think we are ready for binary to decimal conversion now our actual lecture or actual binary to decimal conversion start from this point so let us take any number suppose we take a four digit number or we take a four bit 1010 zero, one, zero. now we don't know actually what the decimal value of 1010 is right this is binary number we have taken one binary number that is 1010 now we start from, from the right position right right most position that is known as a, a lower most or a lower most significant bit so we start from the right position so that is known as zeroth position so now we take a base of 2 so it is 2 raised to 0 right first position then it is 2 raised to 1 third position second position so 2 raised to 2 and the third position then we have 2 raised to 3 this much now you have understand and it is very clear in your mind but remember we always start from the right position extreme right position first that is zero position then first second then third and so on now it is a multiplication part so with actual value either it is zero or one we have to multiply it by its position value so in this case we have zero because it is zero actual value is zero so 0 multiplied by 2 raised to 0 same way 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 1 at first position we have value 1 whatever value either it is 0 or 1 at second position we have again 0 so 0 multiplied by 2 raised to 2 and then we have 1 so 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 3 so this way we have done calculation and all the values we have to add right so this is very simple process now if we multiplied any value with a zero it is definitely going to be zero right so there is no any significance when we multiplied by zero and we do the addition we are doing the addition so all zeros will be eliminated so when we have value 0, we need not to worry anything about this. We simply put 0. But now we start actual calculation. From the left side, now we see that 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 3. So 2 raised to 3 that we know it is 8. And 8 multiplied by 1, so it becomes 8. Same way, 0 multiplied by 2 raised to 2. It is multiplied by 0 so 
it will definitely be zero so zero then again the value is one when it comes to one then we have to do the actual calculation so two raised to one that is two two multiplied by one that is again two now we have again zero multiplication so it becomes zero right so we have now decimal values available and now if we do simple addition so it becomes 8 plus 10 then it is equal to 10 and that is our answer the value which is given as a binary value 1010 the decimal equivalent value is 10 very simple process step by step process and uh, you can easily convert any damn binary number into decimal number very simple we take one more example right suppose we take uh, 1101 again four bits we start with the rightmost position so it is known as zeroth position we take a base in binary number as a 2 so it becomes 2 raised to 0 then first position 2 raised to 1 second position 2 raised to 3 2 third position 2 raised to 3 now in next stage we'll multiply actual bit value either 0 or 1 with its position so first or 0 at the 0 position we have 1 so 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 0 then we have 0 so 0 multiplied by 2 raised to 1 then 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 2 and then we have 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 3 then we have to add all the values right so addition now we put actual value as i said earlier when it is 1 multiplication you need to do the counting when it is zero you can eliminate any damn value it will be going to be zero in addition zero is not uh, added to any value so one multiplied by two raised to three again two raised to three is eight so eight multiplied by one so it is eight two raised to two that is four four multiplied by one so it is coming four then we have zero so any value it will be going to be zero we have again one so two raised to zero as i said earlier zero power zero is always going to be one so one multiplied by one so it is one so now we have a value our decimal equivalent value eight plus four plus one so it is coming to 13. so this is our answer very simple very simple process when we convert a binary number into decimal number we take one more example of uh, five bits right so again it becomes very clear to you here we have taken one number that is one one zero zero and one so five bit but procedure remains same we start with the rightmost position that is uh, zeroth position so 2 raised to 0 then 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 third position and now we have fourth position right when we use 5 bits then if we start with the zeroth position we have at the left most position that is a fourth position and then we have to add 2 raised to 4 same process right so now let us do a multiplication part so one first our zeroth position that is the actual bit value is one so one multiplied by two raised to zero then we have a zero so zero multiplied by two raised to one again we have zero so zero multiplied by two raised to two now we have one so one multiplied by two raised to three again we have one so one multiplied by two raised to four and now we need to add we add each value and uh, now we have to convert in actual decimal values now 2 raised to 4 
टू रेस्ट टू फोर डेट इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन एज आई सेड एलियर डेट टू रेस्ट टू थ्री टू रेस्ट टू फोर टू रेस्ट टू फाइव यू शुड रिमेंबर सो यू कैन डू द कैलकुलेशन फास्ट सो टू रेस्ट टू फोर डेट इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन डेट इज सिक्सटीन टू रेस्ट टू थ्री सो वी नो दैट इट इज एट सो एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन डेट इज एट नाउ वी हैव टू रेस्ट टू टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जीरो we do not need to do any worry about this it is going to be zero again we have zero multiplication so it comes to zero right and now we have a one multiplied by 2 raised to zero 2 raised to zero is uh, going to be one and one multiplied by one that is one now simple we need to add all the decimal equivalent values these are known as uh, equivalent decimal values based on the position of the binary bit so 16 plus 8 that is 24 24 plus 1 that is 25 so uh, our answer is 25 so this way in very simple steps we can convert any binary number to decimal number it is a uh, very simple so far we have taken only integer numbers but if it is a fraction number then also we can do calculation in uh, some other video we will be doing calculation of uh, fraction binary number into decimal number so so far i uh, think that uh, or i hope rather that uh, you have very well understand how to convert any binary number into decimal number uh, thank you thank you for watching my video keep watching and if you like subscribe my channel thank you very much thank you